During today's ceremony, Jamie Perez spoke with a father in a Gold Star family who tells us the story of the life and loss of his daughter. Behind every flag is someone who loved a hero. Kermit Hugo stood at our state capitol ceremony this morning to honor those who died in the line of duty, but especially to honor the one soldier he knew by heart. She was killed uh, by an IED. They went out early in the morning and ran into a joint security station. And about 10 minutes from the station, uh, there were a couple of guys that were sitting up in an apartment that had a handheld remote control that set off the IED out in the road. And her head hit the top of the Humvee, and that was a mortal wound. Memorial Day has been a heavy day for Hugo since his daughter Rachel died in the line of duty in Iraq 12 years ago. It was very hard in the beginning, you know, probably five, six, seven years, you know, where it's just almost always on your mind. So finally, it's started to get easier now. Every year on this day, he's reminded of his daughter and the things he misses most. Her goofing around, you know, um, she really had a lot of <laughs> really funny things that she could say and do and so on and so forth. And that, you know, I, I can still, I still get to see her because, you know, we have her on a, on a YouTube video, but hear, hear her voice. And things are going pretty good. I've been going out more, and it makes them feel better having a medic, and makes me feel better knowing that I'm there in case something were to happen to them. I mean, there's no grandkids, there's no, you know, uh, butterfly kisses, you know, uh, for me to be able to give her away, a wedding, that type of thing. So that, that's, that's hard. In October of 2007, Hugo said he got the knock at his door that no parent ever wants to hear. I heard the knock, and I looked out the window, and I saw all I could see was sergeant stripes, and I knew right away. Rachel died doing what she loved. She just loved it. She just loved it. <laughs> Without a question. A medic overseas, Hugo said she loved helping people. It wasn't just that she liked doing it. She needed to do it. Something Hugo said he's proud of. Something the world is missing without her in it. A long time. It was, I mean, there wasn't hardly a second go by that I didn't, you know, she wasn't on my mind. I was thinking about her. Hugo comes back year after year to honor his daughter, to remind people that our freedom rests on the memories of our heroes, and that our flag flies from the last breath of the soldiers who died protecting it. It's their day today. It's, again, it's not about veterans. Yeah, it's not about us. And it's about them strictly. In Madison, Jamie Perez, News 3 Now. Hugo was planning on visiting his daughter's grave at the Roselawn Memorial Park in Monona, but had to postpone due to the weather. He said he is still thankful he got to go to the ceremony at the Capitol to honor everyone else who died fighting for our freedom.